Daryl Homer's passion for fencing shines through in everything he does. Fencing is kind of like a boxing match, but I kind of look at it like a romance with your opponent, right? Like you're, you're reading your opponent's intentions. You have to kind of communicate with them, but at the same point, you have to dominate them physically and uh, intellectually and tactically in the match. At the Tokyo Olympic Games, I'll be competing in the individual men's saber and the team men's saber event. He discovered the sport through books, movies, and cartoons. I was reading a children's dictionary, came across the word fencing, saw the outfit, loved it, told my mom I wanted to try it. The movie, uh, The Mask of Zorro, uh, the Ninja Turtles, so all these sword fighting things um, were kind of my influences. There was an ad on television uh, featuring Peter and Aki Spencerell fencing for a New York City yellow cab. And then within a week I was at the foundation, um, had met Peter and was beginning uh, my journey here. The Peter Westbrook Foundation teaches fencing to inner city youth. I kind of fit perfectly into that demo. When I first met Peter, I remember thinking he was really funny, very, I don't know if I had the word charismatic in my vocabulary back then, but he had a lot of energy. When I saw him, I said, wow, after a few months, this is a guy that has a lot of talent. This is a guy that's fighting everybody, fighting all the coaches, always creating a ruckus. That kind of spirit, I know if we channel it, can become great. Being in Peter's program and being surrounded by Olympians every day, it was always like a dream, right? I'd go home and do footwork in my living room. Daryl's hard work at the foundation paid off. He won a silver medal at the Rio Olympic Games. It's like in movies when they say your life flashes before your eyes. You know, I felt like every piece of training I'd done in my life, um, and it was an overwhelming experience. When my kids come back with medals, it brings tears to my eyes. It brings tears to my heart. It brings tears to my spirit, and I am so overjoyed. For Daryl and Peter, winning goes beyond medals. It's about impact. Me being African-American, me being a black American, and being able to accomplish that, um, and I'm just looking to do more, to be honest. Like, I just want to do more and, and keep pushing it. But when you walk with a saber on the street in Harlem, and kids are looking at you and parents are asking you and people are stopping you, asking where you fence, how you fence. You just realize how much accessibility is lacking in the sport and how if more people had access to it, how it would look completely different. People of color around the world are doing great things. People around the world are doing magnificent things. Guys, I need you, especially during this time where black lives matter, especially during this times where a lot of black people are broken here in the United States. They need to see a little light. They need to see a little encouragement. So I need all you people in the foundation, 150 people every class, you Olympians, I need you to let your black light shine. I need you to show the whole world, the whole country, not only does black lives matter, but black lives shine. You can come every Saturday and still get love from people who are on your level, kids, their parents, and people just appreciate you. Daryl recognizes there's still lots of work to be done at the Olympics. I wake up in the morning thinking about this. I go to bed thinking about this. Middle of the day, I'm preparing for this. My Olympians, my athletes, are part of a winning team. They represent themselves. They represent their families. They represent the Peter Westbrook Foundation, and they represent the United States of America.